Hey, what's up? This is Dan, or DMAD96 here, and welcome back to our F1 Manager Career Mode with Stuart GP. And in today's episode, it is the final round of the first season of our career with Stuart's. The Japanese Grand Prix at Suzuka, and everything is to play for. Michael Schumacher and Mika Hackman, seven points separated in the championship. Johnny Herbert in battle with Damon Hill for fourth. Rubens Barrichello could potentially get sixth position with a good result here in Japan. Last round in Malaysia saw Michael Schumacher pick up his fourth victory of the season. Mick Hacken could only manage third, that's why Schumacher has extended the gap from one point to seven points. Schumacher is the title favourite and we definitely didn't think that at the start of the season. Hacken won five races in a row. This second half has been abysmal for the McLaren driver. Schumacher's consistency has kept him in the fight. He is battling for the championship here in Japan. He's, he's joining McLaren next year and it would be brilliant for him to go into his new team with the Drivers' Championship. Speaking of McLaren, they secured the Constructors' Championship at the Malaysian Grand Prix. So the Drivers' is the only championship up for grabs this weekend. Ferrari have secured second place, but the biggest battle is Stuart and Jordan, who is going to secure third place in the Constructors' Championship this year. No other battles really worth watching out for. Williams and Benetton are battling for fifth. And I guess BAR and Frost still uh, fight over seventh. It's going to be an exciting one, I feel. It's going to be a very interesting race. And then in the team manager standings, it looks like we've won that. 24,000 points ahead of Ron Dennis, John Toss and Alan Prost. So, one round to go. It's going to be a brilliant one, I feel. Japanese Grand Prix, who will win the championship? Schumacher or Hakkinen? Before we get on to the first practice session, it's time to move on to the news report for the final time this season. With the 2000 season just around the corner, the final confirmations for next season have just been announced. Starting off the four remaining technical director positions, and Arrows have signed Mike Gascoigne from the Jordan team, joining after his contract with Stewart fell through early in the season. Their current technical director, Mike Cochlan, moves on to the Salvage team to replace Leo Ress, who will be moving on to McLaren in another shot move for the British team. And finally, Williams confirmed Bernard Duo from the Prost team to fill in their technical director position. As for the test drivers, Thomas Enger moves from Jordan to join the promising looking Minardi team for 2000. Bruno Junquero from Williams takes the Czech driver's place at Jordan. The F3000 champion, Nick Heitfeld, moves to BAR after being rejected from McLaren as their driver number two. And lastly, Luciano Berti will be making the switch from Stewart to Benetton. It's Michael Schumacher versus Mika Hakkinen. Seven points separating the two drivers who will walk out as the 1999 Formula One world champion. It's time to go down for the final practice session of the season here at the Suzuka circuit. Well, so, <laughs> Rubens Barrichello, third in the practice session. Hein Hacken and Schumacher. That's the best I've ever seen in performing a practice session. And that's putting us in good position to beat Jordan in the championship. But Michael Schumacher on pole from Nick Hacken in second is basically what we really expect now. But we're ahead of David Coulthard. Eddie Irvine way down in seventh. That championship battle still looks very interesting between Schumacher and Hacken. Again, Marginet didn't set a lap time. So, we don't know what's going on with him. Has he ran out of engines? We don't know yet. But, with Hacken and Schumacher still relatively battling for the championship, it's time to move on to the qualifying reports. For the final time this season, who will come out on top? Pedro Diniz was the slowest driver in qualifying as a Brazilian is still yet to secure a point this season. Luca Bader lines up just ahead in the sole remaining Minardi, as the two Prost line up on row 8, with Olivier Panis ahead of Jano Trulli. Jack Villeneuve starts 13th in his final race for BAR as his replacement. Giancarlo Fisichella lines up ahead in 11th alongside current teammate Alex Vers. Ahead of the two Bentons were the Williams drivers locking out row 5, with both Jordans locking out row 8. Heinz Al Frenton behind teammate Damon Hill in both drivers' last race for the team. Rubens Barrichello managed a season best 4th on the grid in his final race for Stewart GP, whilst McLaren's Mika Hakkinen will be doing everything he can to claim the drivers' championship for the second year in succession. However, he will be starting second on the grid as Michael Schumacher will be a hard man to beat with a seven point lead at the top of the championship and pole position for the Ferrari driver. Who will leave Suzuka as the 1999 Formula One world champion? It is time 
for the Japanese Grand Prix. Okay, so the final qualifying session has finished here in Japan. Both drivers are going to go on a two-stop strategy. I think it's going to be a good one. The qualifying looks certainly interesting. Fourth place. I think that's our best qualifying result of the season. Fourth for Rubens Barrichello, sixth for Herbert, ahead of our rivals Jordan. But more importantly, it's Schumacher on pole position, ahead of Mika Hakkinen in second. It's going to be an interesting battle, and for the final time this season, let's take a look at the start of the race. We're going to go on board with Michael Schumacher as a Sauber inside of him. So I don't know what's happening there. And here we are, underway for the final time this season, and Michael Schumacher off to an absolute flyer. And that Sauber, who has seen to have jumped out of nowhere, is holding up the rest of the field, and I think that's going to help Schumacher, who is leading this Grand Prix. And oh, look at the gap that he has got to Mika Hacken. You can't really see it from there. We're going to go on board. We're not going to go, but we're going to put Johnny Head and Ruben Barrichello up onto the push now. And Barrichello has lost position to a well, position to Pedro Diniz, which is the man who jumped everyone else. And he's going to be driving so slowly. We're on board with Ruben Barrichello. You can see how slow the Sauber driver is. David Coulthard is struggling to get past him. Barrichello is, well, not doing just as well either. And it's important if he can get past him because a podium could be possible here, I think, for Stuart team. But at the same time, it might not be. And Coulthard's going to go at the inside. No, he's not going to go at the inside, Diniz. And Barrichello has left the door open. I think, no, Barrichello nearly getting past Coulthard. Entertaining battle for fourth. As Diniz is really holding a massive train up here. Meanwhile, back at the front of the field, Michael Schumacher and Mika Hakkinen are absolutely dominating. They are no way near everyone else now. So this championship battle is really just going to be between, um, uh, between these two now. As Schumacher leads the end of lap one. And Coulthard has overtaken, well, both of us actually. And Johnny Herbert has jumped up to fourth. So a surprise that is for him. He's up to fourth. Ahead of Eddie Irvine, who's keeping close behind. Barry Kelly dropping down to sixth. Uh, meanwhile, Mark Janay has run out of engines, but that doesn't really matter too much. 19 minutes still remaining in this race, and Diniz is two laps down. It's not even lap five yet. Schumacher continues to lead. As it stands, Schumacher's going to win the championship. Heinz Alfredson has retired from the Grand Prix. That's going to help our cause in the Constructors' Championship with one less driver for Jordan. That could not be scoring here. I think they need second and both of us to retire if they want to beat us. It's looking unlikely for Jordan anyway, but Frenson's out of the race. And we are slowly staying ahead of Eddie Irvine. Nothing happening in this quite an eventful race. Uh, we're, we're still holding on to 6th um, and 4th positions. And meanwhile, Michael Schumacher still leads this Grand Prix. And as it stands, the championship will be for Germans. Mick Hakkinen seems to be nowhere behind him. He's 36 seconds down the road. It's not looking good for McLaren. It looks like the 1998 champion is about to lose his title here in Japan. Now Eddie Irvine has passed us here. He's, uh, he didn't jump us in the pit stops, but he has managed to get past on pace, and that just shows that the Ferrari is quicker than our car. We're holding on to 5th and 6th. It's a solid effort so far. And with Jordan not scoring, it's looking like third in the championship will be ours. And Damon Hill is out of the race. I've only just noticed this. But Damon Hill for Jordan is out. And there we go. Our season. We don't even have to finish the race. We have actually secured third place in this championship. I wasn't expecting to secure that. But what an amazing season we've had. Third place in the 1999 championship. And it's looking like fourth for Johnny Herbert as well. A fantastic effort from the team. And a well-deserved third place in the championship this year. Fourth place is secured as well for Johnny Herbert. And now it's all about this battle for the lead. Can Schumacher hold on in this championship battle? A retirement will gift it to Hakkinen. And Eddie Irvine is out of the race. His disappointing season ends with a suspension failure, and that means both of our drivers are going to beat him in the Drivers' Championship. We have had a brilliant year. We're going to finish fourth in the Championship in the Drivers, and third in the Constructors' Championship. Both drivers are set to score points this weekend as well, in what will be their last race for the team. Oh my goodness me! Hakkinen is out of the race! Mika Hakkinen is out! Michael Schumacher is the World Champion of 1999! Confirmed! 
The suspension has gone from that McLaren and Mika Hakkinen has retired from the race. An absolute shame for the 1998 Formula 1 world champion and his championship campaign ends. A lot of bad luck he has suffered in his second half of the year and Michael Schumacher, he can relax now. His championship campaign has been won. He's going to win the Japanese Grand Prix, providing there isn't any retirements. And it's going to be another podium for us, it seems. Third for Johnny Herbert. So we're going to go on board with Michael Schumacher. We would have expected him to do this well in this season. He was nowhere. Mika Hakkinen dominated in the early part of the season. Five race victories in the first six races. And then form seemed to have just gone from the McLaren driver. Michael Schumacher is going to capitalise on Hakkinen's bad fortune. Michael Schumacher wins the Japanese Grand Prix and he wins the World Championship. What an exciting year. And he's done it. Michael Schumacher is a three-time Formula One World Champion. It's going to be second for David Coulthard, who may have stood out as the number two McLaren driver, but he's always been consistent. Four race victories he has earned this season. He may have had several retirements of uh, reliability seem to have been in a hack in his favour for the entire season. But Coulthard seems to have coped it better in this half. Hackenden's had a load of reliability problems, a load of retirements, and his teammate David Coulthard is going to come round the final corner and it's second place for McLaren driver team that will be leaving with the Constructors' Championship this season. And Michael Schumacher, of course, leaving the team to uh, join the new Constructors' Champions. So a great send-off for Ferrari as well. Here's Johnny Herbert, a brilliant effort from him in the Stewart's team as well. And we've also got to uh, say big congratulations for him. He's going to come across the line in third. He has been the best of the rest this season and it's third place for the Stewart driver. And his teammate Rubens Barrichello rounds the final corner. He goes to finish in fourth. We're going to finish the season like we started with third and fourth, but with the drivers the other way round. And a fantastic effort to end off our 1999 campaign. Giancarlo Fisichella fifth and Alex Zanardi sixth. A brilliant way to end the season. Pedro Diniz somehow finishes 11 laps off the pace. But Michael Schumacher is the winner and is your new Formula 1 world champion. And a brilliant send off for, the f for his time with Ferrari as he'll be moving to McLaren for the 2000 season. Let's take a look at the final championship standings. So here are the final Drivers' Championship standings. Michael Schumacher is your 1999 world champion. 89 points to Hackenden's 72. David Coulthard finishes in third and Johnny Herbert beats Damon Hill to fourth. 11 points ahead of the Jordan driver in the end. Barrichello leapfrogs Heinz Alfredson. He couldn't beat Fizzy Keller, but a solid effort to end the season off for a Brazilian driver. Both drivers may be leaving at the end of the year, but they have had a fantastic season. Fourth and seventh in the championship. Definitely wouldn't have expected that from the start of the season. Eddie Irvine, a difficult season for him, finishing down in um, ninth position. An average season for Frentz, and he could have done a lot better as well. But he will be joining us next year, of course, with uh, Jack Villeneuve, who had a difficult season with BAR. Hopefully both drivers can do a lot better. We've also got a better car next year. It's going to be exciting times next year. Rubens Barrichello and Johnny Herbert, well done to them. It's a shame to see them go, to be honest. And in the Constructors' Championship, McLaren, as in the last round, they did secure that with Ferrari second and Stuart GP third, just ahead of Jordan, 11 points in the end. We have secured third in the championship. There is going to be a second season. Jordan fourth, Benson fifth, Williams finishing sixth. They had a difficult start, and they bounced back to finish sixth in the championship. Prost seventh, BAR eighth, Sauber ninth, and then Minardi and Arrow's own team that have failed to score this season. And we have won the Team Managers Championship for Stuart GP. Almost double the points ahead of Ron Dennis in second. John Tart in third, not far off. The champions of the season finished behind us. Alan Prost fourth, Eddie Jordan fifth. Decent season for Prost though. Had a, had a very good uh, time there, but a podium as well, Viano Trulli. Eddie Jordan had a solid effort as well. Rocco Benetton enjoyed a decent season of finishing sixth. Not bad first season for BAR, taking seven from the manager standings. But Williams, not a good year for Frank Williams at all. Behind Tom Walkinshaw, who didn't even have enough energy to finish the rest of the season. But a disappointing end for the Williams team. 
And that is it for the, two, for the 1999 season. So we've got new sponsorships to the car next year. I just thought I'd go through them now. We have PlayStation on the car. We're losing our sponsorship HSBC. We've also got Red Bull on the car. That's going to look good. And we've kept our sponsorships with Leah and Hewlett Packard. We've only got very few sponsorships next year on the car. Only four. Hopefully that will be enough. They all pay quite a lot of money anyway, so should be fine. So that is the end of the first season of F1 Manager. It's been a very interesting series. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's been very fun to make. And there will be a season two for this. And I'll get onto that in a minute, but uh, I'm just going to take a quick recap of what's going to be happening next year. Andy Fleming has done a great job this year as our chief designer. We're going to be using the chassis next year, so he'll, he'll still be part of the team, kind of, next year. But Rory Byrne is going to be our designer, and he's going to be a very, very good asset to the team, I feel. His chassis in 2001 we will be using. It's going to be, I think 2001 is going to be the season where we come out on top. Gary Anderson is our technical director. He's been good this year, and we'll be seeing him again next year. He's just done, he's done a brilliant job developing our parts. Maybe as last year as next year, but he's done a brilliant job this year, and that's why we keep him on. And Rob Armstrong, he might not be an important part of the team, but he has managed to get some good sponsorship contracts for next year. Let's hope that David Warren can do a lot better than him. Rob Armstrong was alright for us this year, but he didn't really uh, change our race pace at all, it was just the money side of it from him. We'll see how good David Warren can do in terms of the money side. As for our drivers, Rubens Varichello had a difficult start to the season. Solely bought it back up in, in the end of the season and he did a decent job at the end to finish 7th in the championship. But next year we have got a former world champion Jack Villeneuve and this is going to be exciting to see him drive our car next year. Can he keep up with the likes of Hacken and Schumacher who will obviously be moving teams and McLaren Fry will still be competitive next year. He's going to be one exciting guy to watch I think. Johnny Herbert has been the star this season. He may be 35 years old, but he still proved how quick he was this year. Four from the championship, several podium finishes, and three second places as well. Uh, to add to the uh, two third places that he's already secured as well. Well, actually three third places. But Johnny Herbert's done outstanding this year. Shame that he's leaving to go to Williams. But Heinz Alfredson, we're pretty certain that he's going to do something good as well. And this lineup. Frenson and Villeneuve is going to be a strong one, I think. The two former Williams pairings. It's going to be an exciting one for the team. Exciting times next year. And our test driver, Uchano Berti. We didn't see much of him. We're going to be getting our way in green next year. It's literally just to save costs. But that is the lineup for uh, 2000. It's going to be an exciting season. We've got Mercedes Benz engines and we're changing our electronics. 2000 is going to be a season to look out for, I think. So that has been F1 Manager. Season 1 with Stuart GP. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. So as much as I've enjoyed making the series. And Season 2 will be happening. However, this series will be stopping briefly. Because F1 2016 is going to come out soon. And I'm going to be focusing on that for a couple of weeks. Uh, but this series, I'm, I'm not stopping it completely. There will be a Season 2. It's just going to not be out straight away. I'm going to wait for a few weeks until um, the F1 2016 hype dies down a little bit. And then this will be back on the channel for season two, where we will return to the Australian Grand Prix for round one of the 2000 season. We had a good season this year. Can we do better next year with our new drivers and more powerful engines? Hope you guys have enjoyed season one. If you have, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Touchdown, guys, from DMAT96. I'll catch you guys later. You put a part Nothing at all You pull apart, so I divide